water pollution water in ponds lakes rivers and even seas is polluted by human activities pollution of water resources is a major problem as it changes the quality of water this kills aquatic microorganisms plants and animals destroying the entire aquatic ecosystems as both wild and domesticated terrestrial animals drink water from these water bodies the health of these animals is also affected polluted water is unfit for human use when man also uses polluted water for drinking bathing and washing these pollutants enter into his body and cause health problems even ground water is also polluted by human activities as a result water in the wells gets polluted and becomes unfit for human use water is polluted either unintentionally or intentionally by industrial wastes by agricultural operations with community wastes and by shipping industry let us now see the industrial effluents and water pollution water is used as a solvent for cooking and for washing in industries used water discharged from the industries is called industrial effluent this contains a variety of chemicals depending on the type of industry these chemicals may be inorganic chemicals or organic substances industries which are established near the water bodies such as lakes rivers and sea discharge the effluents directly into water body nearest to the industries as a result these chemicals enter the water bodies and cause immense damage to ecosystem most of the chemical in industrial effluents are toxic and kill the aquatic organisms they react with oxygen present in the water and reduce the oxygen level in the water this affects the life of aquatic organisms Industries located far away from water bodies release the effluents into the surrounding land or into pits. The effluent water along with its chemicals percolates into soil and contaminates ground water. As a result, the water in the wells surrounding the industry is contaminated and becomes unfit for drinking, washing and for plant growth. contaminated ground water kills the plants either immediately or slowly as a result the entire land becomes unfit for human use it is very difficult to remove the pollutants from ground water let us now see about the thermal pollution of water by industries another type of pollution caused by industries is called thermal pollution water that is used for cooling absorbs heat and this hot water is discharged into water bodies such as lakes and rivers and even into the sea this increases the temperature of water and adversely affects the stability of the ecosystem children we know that the solubility of oxygen decreases with increase in temperature this reduces the amount of oxygen available in aquatic ecosystem higher temperature also increases the metabolic activity of several aquatic animals and thereby increase their oxygen requirement as a result several animals die due to the lack of oxygen in the aquatic ecosystem thermal pollution occurs near thermal and nuclear power plants Thermal pollution can be reduced by cooling the water in cooling towers before it is released into water bodies. Now let us see water pollution by slaughterhouses, poultry and dairy farms. Slaughterhouses, poultry and dairy farms also discharge their effluent water into water bodies. This water contains large amounts of animal excreta fecal matter dead organisms and pieces of meat 
and body parts of animals. They pollute the water and make it unfit for human consumption. Sometimes decomposers in the aquatic ecosystem decompose these pollutants and make the water fall smelling. Organic compounds in biological pollutants promote the growth of bacteria and other microorganisms in the water. Large number of these organisms reduces the availability of oxygen for other aquatic organisms. Moreover, parasites which are present in the animals and their excreta also enter the water and cause the spread of parasite diseases to other animals and man. Now let's see about water pollution due to fertilizers and pesticides. Fertilizers and pesticides applied in the agricultural land are not completely used up by crops. Excess amounts of these chemicals percolate into soil and pollute the groundwater. They may also be washed out from the land during monsoons and reach large water bodies such as lakes, rivers and seas. When this water is consumed, pesticides enter the bodies of other aquatic and even terrestrial organisms. These compounds pass through food chain and accumulate in the tissues of the animals present in the entire ecosystem. For example, considerable amounts of DDT have been found in cow and buffalo milk, even in human milk and in the meat of several animals. Fertilizers that enter and pollute aquatic ecosystem promote the growth of diatoms, algae and other plants in ponds, lakes and rivers. Extensive uncontrolled growth of these organisms in water is called eutrophication. This abundant uncontrolled growth of plants blocks the flow of water and reduces oxygen content in the water. Other organisms living in the water do not get sufficient oxygen and ultimately die. Their dead bodies sink to the bottom, decompose and fall the entire water body. They also increase the turbidity of water and reduce the amount of sunlight entering the water. Now let's see about the pollution of seawater by crude oil. Another type of pollution, especially of seawater, is from crude oil. Huge quantities of crude oil are transported in oil tankers by sea routes throughout the world. Any damage to these ships result in the leakage of oil into sea. Oil being lighter than water spreads as a fine layer over the top of sea water. This is called oil spill which may be several kilometers wide. Oil spill does not allow oxygen to penetrate into water and causes the death of many marine organisms. When the spill reaches the shore, it destroys the shore ecosystem. It is very difficult to remove the oil spill from the sea. Recently, using genetic engineering methods, Bacteria which can degrade oil have been developed and these are being tested for the efficiency to remove the oil spills. Now let's see the pollution due to unhygienic habits. Yet another type of water pollution is due to the unhygienic habits of human community. Washing of domestic animals and taking bath in the rivers, lakes, etc also pollutes the water bodies and contaminates them with parasites and other unwanted organisms. In towns and cities, the sewerage water from homes is collected by municipal sewerage system and this water is released into rivers. This contaminates and pollutes the water with inorganic, organic and biological pollutants and makes it unfit for human use. The only method to reduce water pollution is to treat and clean the sewage water and effluents from industries before releasing them into water bodies. For this purpose, wastewater is to be filtered, 
First, to remove particulate material and stored in shallow tanks where bacterial degradation of organic compounds takes place. This water is then treated with chlorine gas to kill the bacteria. Nitrates and phosphates are finally removed by chemical treatments and this water is then released into rivers. Similar procedure is to be adopted by industries. The effluent water is to be neutralized and chemical pollutants are to be removed before the effluent water is released from the industry. These processes are costly, time consuming and are non-productive. Hence, they are not adopted. Instead, effluents are untreated or treated partially and are released into rivers.